Okay, well we're back with uh, another edition of Revolution Nova here in Honolulu. We're again at 562 King Street uh, showing a protest here to end landlord injustice. Bishop Estates is continuously went against their contracts and lease and then did lease some of the leases early just for people speaking out against some of the injustices that's occurred with them. A particular family here, the Vegases, was oops was uh, uh, brought into a situation where their home was flooded four times and uh, out of those four times they've had to numerous times keep repeating the repeat of uh, rebuilding their home and uh, with hundreds of thousands of dollars spent to repair the land so it wouldn't continuously flood out their property Bishop of State said well it's time to leave and uh, we can't have that we have too many people now that's on the streets as it is here in Honolulu let alone a corporation that owns most of the lands in uh, the most lands in uh, Hawaii to just uh, push people over and uh, benefit for profit by uh, allowing land that's uh, undeveloped to be developed and then just kick them out so they could charge someone else more or use it for such things as Monsanto and their uh, GMO fields. And so, oh my gosh, everyone is petrified and not scared for guessing. Your attorney told us in court that you have all the money in the world. Drag the case out and we're going to lose. You told us in court that you're going to bankrupt our attorney. Woo! Now that is so arrogant. What kind of Hawaiian is I do, and so on Aloha, so anti-Hawaiian, no compassion, Woo! Princess Bernice Hawaii Bishop Trump, Woo! she made the trust out of her Aloha and compassion for her people, so they can be educated and thrive. And here we are, we are that representative family. Our children are the beneficiaries and all the other children of Hawaii. You would think that you would treat your own kind with aloha, but no, you treated us with bully, intimidation, harassment. <laughs> threatened us that you will bankrupt us, which you did. You have bankrupted our family. Go ahead, man. You have devastated our family because we have poured all our resources into fixing our house after each flood. After each flood, we thought that you're going to make things porno, but no, you continue, continue with your bullying. We poured all the resources into the land to fix the flood mitigation. Your engineers, your managers, your directors just walked through the site and didn't even show any sign of aloha. Or they say, if you don't like it, leave. And now when the place is all fixed up, 100% improved, and now you want to seize the land back. What kind of Hawaiian are you? That is anti-Hawaiian, anti-Christian. There's no aloha. It's all about the power, money, and greed. How can you do this to ordinary citizens? But then again, you can because you don't feel the pain because it's not your money you're using. It's the trust money. And so you pay all your crony friends who are attorneys and judges to come by fight the ordinary citizen. I feel all the pain and suffering because everything comes out of my pocket and my family. And you cannot tell me that I am not in pain because you have never experienced the pain we're going through. Woo! Woo! Valley of the Bones, 
come out, tell your story, don't be afraid. The only person we need to be afraid of is God, God himself. No man should be living under the suppression of another man. The only person we need to fear is God. So if you're just joining in, you're uh, with uh, Occupy Honolulu, that's in solidarity with the Vegas family about ending landlord injustice. Bishop Estate has several times uh, violated people's rights in uh, their lease contracts just because of individuals speaking out. If you're wondering, we have a local news agency here that's now interviewing her, so we'll just back off and let her have her time. So, anything you'd like to say to the camera? Well, um, I'm sure you've heard a lot about Bishop Estate, but I just gotta say, just being with the family, it's really heartbreaking to see how much work they put into everything, and just to watch watch how heartless Bishop Estate is, how much they just don't care. They just, they, they'll even tell them that they're gonna have the house back, and then they get, what, they go back on, on going back on it? I mean, that's like, I, I mean, that's absurd. I, I don't I don't even know how to put it into words. I mean, people just need to, to wake up, and if we all stand together, we can we can beat this gigantic beast. No one's even tried to beat it, but we can do it if we all work together. So tell us a little bit about Bishop Estates. What do you know about them? Um, basically, I know they're the uh, largest uh, private landowner here. Um, so basically what they are doing is they are evicting people if they feel like they can make a buck, turn around and sell it as a, a vacation home. Um, so basically they are kicking Native Hawaiians out, um, using the trust that was given to Native Hawaiians, turning around and selling their houses to tourists. You know, what other uses does Bishop Estate uh, utilize these funds for? Uh, well, they're, uh, they're uh, criminalizing the homeless. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's the, the what the trust money is used for, um, but I know that they're all part of the uh, Bill 54 thing. They, I mean, they own a whole bunch of land, so I mean, um, I wouldn't be surprised if they were part of the beach park. Um, they, they're they huge on the GMO thing. They, uh, they're part of uh, Kamehameha Schools. I, I don't know if they are a subsidiary or if they actually own them or they've changed the name or like what is the actual deal with that. But They're, um, they're actually the same people. Uh, uh, it's, uh, what is it? Uh, I heard they changed their name. Yeah, it's either KSBE or BEKS or whatever. Well, they separated the two, and uh, Bishop Estates is the corporation behind it, and Kamehameha Schools is the uh, Hawaiian aspect for the school system. But they're both owned by the same. They're the same people. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you got uh, Kamehameha Schools and Bishop Estates that have uh, uh, oh. made it possible for Monsanto to take yeah. over our farmlands so. in a very unsustainable way. Yeah. So basically, they. Uh, are uh, giving this land away at very cheap prices or um, leasing it to them for GMO use. They're right next to, to neighborhoods and to families and stuff like that, so all the pesticides are leaking right into their water supply and into their backyards, essentially. So um, it's not only contaminating the, the plot of land that you know, takes up a huge portion of the island, but it also uh, is, is contaminating the other lands, you know, right next door that, you know, people aren't aware of it, and the ones who are don't want it there. So, I mean, where's where's our voice in this? You know, the, the it's supposed to be for the Hawaiian people. That's where this trust was uh, supposed to be dedicated. And now they're just basically leasing it to American companies who are poisoning the native land and kicking people off their land just to do this. You know, they're doing it for vacation homes, they're doing it for GMOs. I mean, it's it's all to make a buck, and they don't really care who it's from and, and what happens afterward as long as they can make their buck. So, Thank you very much. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Yeah. So, tell us, why are you here again today? Um, we're here because we are trying to spread the word of the injustices that were done to my family, the Vegas Ohana from Bishop Estate, the biggest landowner in Hawaii. And so we've got some friends and family to help with support and so that we can get people to look at our website, bishopestatelandlordandjustice.com and sign the petition on there and please make the best comment you can, it would help a lot. Yep, that's why we're Thank you. No problem. So basically what we have here is a family that's been terrorized with four floods that's destroyed their home, the property. I mean, these are uh, Hawaiian lands that was supposed to be utilized by the people. Uh, mainly it's a means for the kids to be able to have access so uh, they can continue their heritage, their culture, you know, and have peace of mind while they live on their own lands. and. Uh, Bishop Estate was given the trustee of the funds that does this, and uh, all we're finding them doing is uh, using the funds for like GMOs, which is an un unsustainable way for our islands to try and be maintained. We have a very small food source here, and then the, have a food source that relies on a, a, a single use seed doesn't make much sense, and it's very costly. And then. Uh, to kick Native Hawaiians out just because they were able to develop the land just to charge the next family even more until they speak up about something that's wrong and then kick them out, well, you get the story and things get more and more expensive and more and more people end up houseless. Landlordandjustice.com and a uh, Google site of uh, change.org petition Bishop Estates. So uh, either one of those two sites would bring uh, you to the Vegas' uh, petition for uh, Bishop Estates to do something about this that's uh, correct, that's to do it in a way that's uh, humane and right for the people and not for corporate greed. So check that out at bishopestateslandlordandjustice.com or change.org uh, forward slash petition Bishop Estates. More and more people trickling in. I don't have to return. Well, then that counts. All right, guys, I'll jump back on in about 10, 15 more minutes and uh, see what's going on here myself so we can get things going. See you in a bit.